Jan Island. <laughs> Jan Island, indeed. <laughs> you know, Mike Tyson always had taller and bigger opponents all his fight career. This Saturday night, I'm going to be faster, stronger. You know, I have my punching power, so that's enough. Piotr Jan, welcome back to BT Sport, UFC 280, here in Abu Dhabi. And there's a man that looks happy. You got a smile Take on your face. face. Yes, I happy was we'll hear after three days we'll fight. Camp was a long time. I wanna fight it after relax time. How many weeks was this camp in Thailand? In Thailand it was camp uh, seven or eight weeks after we came in Dubai before ten days. Does it get harder now? That your children are getting bigger? Do you miss them more? Da, da, da. Yeah, 100% that's a factor. You know, I miss them a lot. Your wife and children, are they here now? Are they with you in Abu Dhabi now? Da, yeah, my older son and my wife will come to see me fight. Yeah, it's going to be very good energy coming from them. I didn't see them for two months. Wow, that's a long time to be away. How old is your son? Six years old. And has it, is this the first time he'll watch dad f fight live? Yeah, it's his second time watching the fight live. First time he was uh, uh, watching the fight against Corey last year here in Abu Dhabi. But since he was three years old, he has been watching all my fights online. He's following the sport like not anyone else. He knows more than me about the sport. Do you think he will follow in your footsteps? Will he be a fighter? I don't know what's going to happen in 10 years, five years. But right now he's taking judo classes. He's taking swimming classes. So we'll see. We'll find out. Do you think your your wife would like him to be a fighter? Maybe, maybe a swimmer, maybe in the Olympics <laughs> instead, safer? Me personally, I don't have any regrets taking up on martial arts, taking this serious manly sport. So if my son gonna pick this pass, I'm just gonna support him. Everyone has their own school of life. And for me personally, sport, uh, is that what gave me the support and uh, everything in my life till now. You're one of the very best at it. You're back here in Abu Dhabi, your favorite place, I think. You beat Aldo to become champion. You beat Corey Sandhagen to become interim champion. This is, this is your town, isn't it, Abu Dhabi? Jan Island. <laughs> Jan Island, indeed, <laughs> exactly. That, uh, Yes, it's a great place. It's nice to realize inside uh, that this is a place where I have my sport history here, you know. You've got an unusual and original character in the opposing corner um, this weekend. Sean O'Malley is an interesting personality. Is that dynamic? what he brings, the eyeballs that he brings, does that change anything for you? Yes, my opponent is not very standard person, as we can say, and, but it doesn't change the dynamic, you know, it actually gives me inner boost to prove that the place that I have right now, it's not easy to take on. Do you think he deserves the opportunity? Do you think he's done enough in his career? to be fighting the number one ranked guy in a division? Or do you think he's got this opportunity because of his personality? Yeah, looking from the sports side of things, he no doubt he doesn't deserve this fight. But looking from the media side of things, him being the UFC project, yeah, he deserves this fight. UFC project, you think he's Dana's favorite? I just consider him to be a UFC project. I don't know if he's Dennis' favorite or no. This fight, for the first time since Uriah Faber, when you beat Uriah Faber over three rounds. Since then, it's all been five round fights for you. Are you looking forward to going back to 15 minutes and maybe being a little bit quicker, a little bit more explosive? Yeah, my previous four fights were all five rounders. My next fight is three rounds, so it's gonna mean gonna be more sparks, more blasting energy, and I'll, I believe he doesn't ready for it. Sean was in here earlier in your chair, and he said it's it's a sprint, and you've become 
a marathon fighter. Do you kind of have you got a few surprises for him? I'm not bad at sprints either. <laughs> and talking about surprises, uh, the biggest surprise for him is going to be my love of fighting. I like to fight in three rounds, not going to make any difference. I seen on the UFC footage that you bumped into Aljamain Sterling and you guys shook hands. He's obviously in the fight this weekend as well, defending your old belt against TJ Dillashaw. Victory on Saturday, do you believe you get that trilogy fight? Because there's unfinished business there. Yeah, I believe I deserve to fight for the title next. There's no one else more deserving than me. I also believe that I beat Sterling twice, maybe second time not as convincingly as the first time. And I won the trilogy fight. Do you believe Aljamain beats TJ Dillashaw? Do you think he will keep the belt this weekend? Yeah, I think it's a 50-50 fight. Anyone can win. Whoever uh, gonna impose his fighting style, he's gonna win. But do you secretly want Aljamain to win so you can get that third fight? You know, my focus is winning the belt. I have to put my accent on it. And it doesn't matter who's gonna hold it, you know. I cannot say that I'm secretly rooting for Sterling to win. I'll bring it back to your fight then, with Sean O'Malley. Um, he's tall, he's long, he's quite unorthodox with his striking. How'd you get the fight won at the weekend? You know, Mike Tyson always had taller and bigger opponents all his fight career. This Saturday night I'm going to be faster, stronger, you know, I have my punching power, so that's enough. Just like Tyson, slip inside and let the big hooks go? Yes, indeed, and also adding to that, you know, I can wrestle, you know, I have elbows, kicks, everything. Are we getting a knockout? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Lovely.